Hey everybody, welcome to this week's edition of Book Chat. Thanks for coming along today to explore a great new book. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the fantastic books that we're having a look at. So we are uh, going up to the north with this week's book today and looking at an Inuit legend. And uh, I, I love a lot of things about legends. So the diversity amongst different groups of people that have legends, because um, pretty much every society has legends. And I always like learning legends that I have had no idea about. So I like learning new legends. Um, and I like to see how the lesson building is built into a particular legend. So the story that I have for you today is Grandmother Ptarmigan. So ptarmigan is a bird that you will find in Canada's north in the Arctic. Um, so a couple of things that I like right away is that if you're doing a study of Arctic animals, this is a great way to tie a legend of an Arctic animal into perhaps your study of animals in the north. So this particular story is about a grandmother ptarmigan. Um, and a little baby ptarmigan who will not go to sleep. So the grandma is, I think, as any parent who has had a child who won't go to sleep, um, you know, she becomes kind of increasingly frustrated as the story goes on that the baby ptarmigan won't go to sleep. And so she tells the ptarmigan a story about the lemmings that are outside who are wanting to get in and, and to wrap themselves around the ptarmigan. Um, and she ends up tickling the baby all over after to be the lemmings. But um, the baby ends up being very scared by this and takes off and flies away. And so the, the moral, of, or I guess the lesson in this story is that this is why baby ptarmigans fly so young, because they fly very early after they're born. Um, and this is the reason why. So this legend gives us some background as to what their habits are. So, um, you know, great way to connect to the north, but also, you know, um, pick your favorite bird and then find out about their uh, nesting habits, their life cycle, when they hit milestones in their life and compare it to the ptarmigan. Um, and then maybe write a legend about the particular bird that you've chosen. So there's lots about this story that I like. Um, and like I said, it's another um, connection to the Inuit people in the north, which I think uh, someone who lives so far south in Canada, we really are lacking those connections. So anytime we can expose our children to life in another part of our country, um, I, I think I can't say enough good about that. I think it's a, a great thing to do. So if you do get a chance, check this one out. It's a quick read, um, but it's a great story. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic week, and I hope that you come back next week to hear about another great book.